today we are going to do the experiment on cell counting and viability. So as you all know, cell viability is actually the number of live cells or healthy cells in a population. So whenever you are doing animal cell culture, you have to know what is the percentage of cells which are healthy or which are live and also the total number of cells in the population so that it will be useful for us when we are going for subsequent subculturing or massaging of the cells. So the basic uh, instrument or the device which is used for counting animal cells is a hemocytometer. Cytometer is nothing but a thickened uh, glass slide which has got a groove in the center which is head shaped and uh, just above and below the mid uh, groove you have two counting chambers okay and these counting chambers are made of grid lines and uh, they are etched on to the hemocytometer and you have two counting chambers one above and one below. So if you look at the hemocytometer I have just uh, taken the corner spider. So when we are counting animal cells, we usually count the cells which are there in the four corners. So I have marked the first, second, third and the fourth corner and each of the corner is made up of 16 cells. And I have marked the uh, squares from 1 to 16 and whenever you count cells for animal cell culture, you have to start from the first, go to the fourth, come back to the fifth, go to the eighth, go to the ninth then to the 12th and from the 13th to the 16th. So you have to go in a zigzag manner when you are counting the cells. Also when you are counting the cells, you have to make sure that you do not count the cells which are on the right side and which are at the bottom of this corner square. You should only count, you can count the cells which are on the left and also which are on the top and in case there is a cell which is connected to both the first and the second, uh, the up and the below square, make sure that you count it to either of the squares and not to both. This will enable us to uh, actually know the uh, correct number of cells in that particular square. So after counting these cells, we have to, we usually use the formula to calculate the total number of cells. The total number of cells is given by the formula average number of cells into the dilution factor divided by the volume of the chamber which is 10 to the power of minus 4. So I will tell you how we derive at each of these values. So first going to the average number of cells, as I told you, you have to count all the 4 corner squares and divide the total number of cells by 4. So we have counted all the 4 squares and we found the total number of cells is 172. So that divided by 4, we got 43 cells. Now coming to the dilution factor. So whenever you are counting the cells, you have to dilute your sample with a dye or a diluent. So uh, generally we take about 10 microliter of your sample and we add 10 microliter of the diluent and divide it by the total uh, volume of sample. So generally it is 10 plus 10 by 10 which is about 2. So the dilution factor is usually so for identifying the live and the dead cells we use a, a dye called the tripen blue dye which is an exclusion dye. This tripen blue is taken up only by cells which are dead. Okay, The dead cells have a leaky and porous cell membrane and the tripen blue is taken in by these cells and the live cells do not take the tripen blue and they appear transparent and uh, whereas the dead cells appear blue in color. So when we are doing the counting, I'll show you uh, how the uh, dead cells have the uh, tripen blue stain and the live cells uh, look, okay? So the volume of the hemocytometer is length into breadth into height, which is 1 mm into 1 mm into 0.1 mm, which is actually the depth. So the depth is actually the place between the hemocytometer and the cover slip. Uh, which is placed on the hemocytometer and the volume is the amount of sample which we load into the hemocytometer. So the total volume comes to about 0.1 millimeter cube which is equal to 10 to the power of minus 4 centimeter cube which is 10 to the power of minus 4 ml. Now coming to the total number of cells, we have calculated the average number is 43 into the dilution factor which is 2 divided by the volume. So when this 10 to the power of minus 4 comes to the numerator, you get 43 into 2 into 10 to the power of 4 which is about 860,000 cells per ml. Generally when you uh, write the number of cells it should be in the western number system or the western notation system. So we know in 1 ml we have about 860,000 cells. 
Now coming to cell viability, as I told you, it is very important to know how many cells are healthy or live so that we can determine whether we can go for subsequent subculturing of a cell. So to calculate that, we use the formula number of live cells divided by the total number of cells which is nothing but the number of live cells plus the number of dead cells into 100 since it is percentage. So, in, uh, so we have counted and we found that 140 cells are live in the total of 172 cells and when that is multiplied by 100 we get 82 percent. 82 percentage is, um, is actually a good uh, value and we can decide based on this percentage whether it can be taken. So more than 70 percentage is good to take to subsequent subcultures of Pasati. So this is the basic uh, method by which you count animal cells and generally in the hemocytometer when you are counting we can count RBCs, WBCs or animal cells as well as yeast and sperm. So here you can see the 25 smaller squares which is used to count RBC, yeast and the sperm and the 4 corner squares you can see where you can count the WBC. This is a recap of what we have been seeing all this while. So here you can see the 9 uh, squares each of 1 millimeter in, uh, in area, 1 millimeter square in area and uh, remember the 16 squares in one corner and uh, so you can see which are the cells which can be counted and which are the cells which should not be counted and of course when the cells are in the midline you have to make sure that you do not repeat the counting. So here you can see the live cells uh, which are about uh, which are transparent and the trifon blue cells which are uh, uh, blue in color which are the dead cells. So this gives the hemocytometer calculation uh, which you can use for calculating the total number of cells and the viability percentage. Okay. Uh, now we will go to the procedure. So first before starting you have to make sure uh, this is a, a biosafety cabinet where you are working and you have to first clean your working space with ethanol so that is what is being done you are wiping the, spray, uh, uh, the entire area with ethanol and uh, you have the stand which you are again wiping and making sure it is uh, free of uh, any contaminants and making it sterile. So here we have the uh, solution of the, the, cel uh, the cells in suspension and uh, so we have got the cells in suspension and from this we are going to pellet the uh, cells and then use it for counting so uh, so we are trying to uh, take the uh, cells from the falcon tube into the append off so for centrifugation always make sure since you are going to use these cells for subculture they have to be done in a sterile environment that is why you are taking so much of uh, uh, precautions to make sure the cells are uh, healthy okay so you have taken the 1 ml of uh, uh, the cell suspension and you have uh, you are just transferring it to the append off and now you are going to centrifuge the append off okay the cells so usually for cells we go for 3000 rpm uh, for about 5 to 8 minutes and uh, uh, it, you should not go beyond 3000 rpm because these cells have to be uh, used for reculture or subculture or passaging so you can see here we are centrifuging the cells for about uh, uh, 5 minutes at 3000 rpm so meanwhile you can start cleaning the hemocytometer so we are using ethanol and cleaning the hemocytometer to just make sure that it is free of dirt and of any contaminants so I am just taking the uh, tissue paper with the ethanol and I'm trying to wipe it and make it clean and I also take the cover slip which has to be placed on the hemocytometer so we are just wiping it with ethanol and placing it over the hemocytometer
now the centrifugation is done and you can see the pellet if you observe closely you can see the white uh, transparent pellet at the bottom now you are taking the pellet and you are transferring it uh, back into the biosafety cabinet you are taking the hemocytometer wiping it clean paste replacing the cover slip now you're removing the supernatant right you have to resuspend the cell pellet so you're removing the supernatant and discarding of the supernatant you have to be careful that you do not uh, suck your pellet so you have to be really extra careful to see that the pellet is there in your app and off and you take out only the supernatant the supernatant is nothing but your media in which the cells were growing after resuspending the pellet you take 20 microliter of the uh, cell suspension and add trifon blue to it and nicely mix it And you have to do this really gently and take about uh, 10 microliter of the uh, cell suspension with the trifin blue and insert it between the cover slip and the hemocytometer you can see how the sample gets uh, spread into the counting chamber evenly because of capillary action and now take the hemocytometer and observe the cells under the microscope you can see here uh, this is an inverted microscope which you have used and uh, you can see in the monitor the center grid which has the 25 uh, smaller squares which I told you is used for counting RBCs and you can see the four corner squares the first uh, corner square which is made up of 16 smaller squares is the second one second corner square this is the third corner square and this is the fourth corner square now you can see uh, the live cells uh, which are not taken up the trifin blue and you can also see the dead cells which have taken the trifin blue which is uh, uh, dark blue in color okay you can see the cells how they are uh, uh, taken and how they appear blue in color in addition you can see here both the live and the dead cells so the live cells are more transparent so now you start counting the live and the dead cells in all the four uh, corner squares and then you the calculation and find out the total number of cells and uh, also find out the viability percentage using the formula which i have told you before in addition to trifin blue you can also use uh, stains such as uh, erythrosin b nigrosin uh, which can also uh, be used to count cells and uh, finally find out what is the total number of cells and the viability percentage thank you